It is a beautiful day here in Florida. 1220 watts of solar on the roof. Stealthy air conditioner is running. I turned it on about six o'clock last evening, so it ran through the night, kept the van at uh, 74 degrees. Let's see how we're doing now. Sun is shining bright. We are... Yeah, we're Right up here at the high part of the van, looks like we're almost 82 degrees. It doesn't feel that warm. That's what the thermometer says. Ooh, it's kind of chilly back here, across the hall from the air conditioner. Come on, where is it? There it is, we're definitely below 80, somewhere around 70, what, 76, 77 degrees. Down here on the floor, there we are. Oh yeah, we're definitely down in the 72 to 74 range down there. So the lower the van, lower in the van you are, the cooler you are. That's not a big surprise. Let's have a look at our harvest. At the moment, we're pulling down 35.8 amps at 27 volts. Meanwhile, we're inverting much, much less than that. So we're charging that battery with the air conditioner running, maintaining a cool temperature in the van, and recovering from last night's sleeping air conditioner. So it's Saturday, June 13th, about 4.20 in the afternoon, 93 degrees outside still. Had the air conditioner running since yesterday evening, and the battery has been full. Okay, so the air conditioner is drawing more than we are producing now. It's the first time today we've seen that. At 4 o'clock it was still producing more at the solar panels than we were drawing down here at the inverter. So uh, we've had a change of the experiment here. And our battery is still happy, but it's not at 100% anymore. It was after running 20 hours, 20, almost 22 hours at 4 o'clock. That amperage was kind of low for four o'clock in the afternoon, and well, that would be why. There's the sun. Can you find it? I can't. <laughs>